Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Friday, August 3. I'm Barry Fear, and our big story tonight is the drought that is affecting New South Wales. And here with his report and comments on that, good evening to my offside. Good evening, Barry. Good evening, viewers. Yes, the drought's reached a desperate state. We're trying to get some food out there. We just hope it rains this weekend. And and as you remember, we went back to the year 2002, and that was a bad drought too. But the big news is somebody was charged over a fatal truck crash on the M1. On Wednesday. Just near Gosford. Just near Gosford. How many people died? Two. Oh, that's terrible. And also, the former Leyland Brothers World Complex up north, too, that was gutted by fire, so... That's terrible. It is rock. It's gone. So it is gone, so most of you know... The former show asked the Leyland Brothers. I'm sure my upsider remembers that, that, that show. Yep, Mike and Mel Leyland. They were great, weren't they? Yes, they were. And the, as I've said, the big drought is really starting to affect the farmers and the dust. Storm in parks, and here's my offside for this. Yep, a lot of dust coming tomorrow, and then hopefully rain on Sunday. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, well, another subject tonight is eating the leftover food. Here's my offside for this. Yeah, don't want to waste anything, Barry, especially with the drought on. There's not going to be much food left. No cows left, no sheep left, no wheat left. We're going to have to survive on leftovers. Baked beans, canned spaghetti. And, and... Bit of seafood. And, and unless you can come up with some ideas of what you can do to help the drought-stricken farmers, everybody. I'd like you to comment on my link down below when I upload the video tonight. So please help our farmers and help them donate. Well, help them to survive, I should say. And the other big thing is... um getting on with one another too, here at the house, is my offsider. Yeah, it's important that we all live in harmony, Barry. What should someone do if they're not getting on? Well, move away from one another until they calm down or sort the problem out in a... Uh, respectable manner, well, kind manner, what I'm trying to say here. So here's my offside in there. If they all don't work, go and see the manager. Yeah. And then they might get in contact with the contact team. And then hopefully it'll all get sorted out from there. So, as I've said, tonight's big story is the drought. Please. Try and eat some good, wholesome food. Here's my offside. Yep, the price of meat's going to be going up, Barry. Steaks are going to be like $50 each. Lamb cutlets are going to be $70 each. So I'm not going to have to eat them. What else can we eat? Pork. Pork. Chicken. That should be okay. Chicken. Until the drought ends. Uh, and the drought is very devastating for our farmers here 
Here's my offsider. Yep, devastating bounty. A lot of them are going broke. Some of them are having to sell their farms. Shoot all their sheep. Devastating. Do you know any farmers, Barry? Uh, no, I don't. So, so as I uh, as I just said, try and conserve water as well if you can. And here's my offsider. <clears throat> yep, I think Sydney's heading for a drought too. So we might be on water restrictions soon. I'll have to notify your viewers what to do during water restrictions. Well, I will tell the viewers now of that, about that. Shower for a minute less. And don't wash your cart or water the gun. Have, so, have like a watering can or something that you can put some water in and pour the water on your plants. But as for your car, you might have to go to a car wash and ask how much it will be. We can always use recycled water from the bathtub. And, all, the and always think of how much water you are using or consuming is the word that I'm looking for. So this big story of the drought is very devastating. Um, if you have any ideas, when I put this video up, you can comment on the link below Go and buy some good wholesome vegetables if you can. Here's my offsider for this. Yeah, we might have to all turn vegetarian. Barry, we'll survive on. Or go and get some fish and chips. Yep, that'll be okay. Fish and chips. Fish and potatoes. Maybe we could survive on zucchini fritters and potato bakes. Can you get some good vegetable recipes, Barry? Well, a vegetable soup. Mm hmm That's a good one. With Tommy. some garlic bread. Mm hmm And also some vegetable burgers. Oh, vegetable burgers are good. And bubble and squeak, you can serve that in the burger bun, I'm sure. Yep. What about a good salad? And a good salad. So... Two stories that have emerged, or three stories that have emerged. The smoke haze over Sydney, the big drought, and the fatal uh, accident on the M1 where somebody was killed after they mm -hmm. were reaching for a coffee cup. Is that how it That's terrible. Yeah, that's how it happened. So, before I end tonight's program, please do not reach over for a coffee cup, have a, a tray in the car, and stick your thermos into that. Here's my offside. Yeah, good idea, Baron. Don't reach over for a coffee. Maybe use a straw. Maybe use a straw. Keep your eyes on the road all the time. And keep your eyes on the road. What about mobile phones? And at all times. And don't use your mobile phone. No. Either whilst you are driving because that's how another fatal crash can happen. Well, it's just about time to say good night to our viewers now. But before we do, just repeating our top story of the night, and that is the drought. Here's my offsider for this. Yeah, if there's anything you can do to help the farmers that are in need, make a donation or send some food out there for them because they haven't got anything to eat either. Send the food package or donate to the Red Cross. And donate to the Red Cross.
because you need to help the drought stricken farmers, everybody, because the drought for us is terrible. We badly need some, some rain. So if you can help anybody that's in need, like take some canned, uh, non perishable items, it would be uh, much appreciated. Well, that's our report for tonight. And the closing message I would like to add is please do not light fires deliberately or use triple O to get a taxi. Here's my offside for this closing message right now. Yeah, triple O is not for pizza delivery. It's for saving people's lives. Like that accident on the M1 motorway near Gosford. They would have had to call an ambulance straight away. Yeah. I think six people got saved because the ambulance has got there quickly. And also, if anybody is caught lighting a bushfire, they will be caught. So if you're going to be stupid and be a fire bug, you will be caught. Here's my upside of fire. Be careful with fires. There shouldn't be any out outdoor fires like barbecues or bonfires this weekend. And that's, that's, the, that's the night. I'm Barry Fear. You take care. Have a great night, everybody. And I will see you sometime over the weekend. Good night, everybody. We wish all the best to the farmers and hope it rains tomorrow. And remember, save triple zero for saving lives. Our thoughts and prayers are with all the farmers. And our thoughts and prayers are with all the farmers. Good night, everybody. Take care. Have a lovely weekend, and I will catch up with you sometime over the weekend. Good night, everybody.